Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of your Average Outdoorsman. Right now I'm out here searching for some white-tailed deer. The sun is setting, the, it's near the end of the day, so they're going to be really active right now. So hopefully we can find some bucks, maybe see some neat rutting behavior. So be sure to subscribe. Alright guys, I see some deer up on this hill up here, and uh, yeah, we're going to try and get some pictures of them. I don't know what's up there, maybe a buck, so let's go see. So right behind me, we have some nice deer up here on this hill, so I'm going to try and go up the hill and try to get some better shots of them, so yeah. I think there might be a buck up there, so let's try getting up. Alright, so right up here, got a nice little doe right here. I think you just noticed me. Alright, so... We have some pretty warm weather out for December. It's like 50 something degrees, but we've got some good whitetail activity. I've actually seen this herd before in this area. I've noticed there's the spike buck, a bunch of does, and a small little button buck. And I'll show you some pictures and videos in a minute of it. I saw them in October when all this forest, it was all green. And I also saw this other really interesting looking buck, which sadly had died about a month ago, so. But it's interesting, this is the same herd I've observed before, so it's pretty cool getting to see the same deer a few months later. Right, so I'm gonna try and get closer, uh, maybe we can get some better shots. This is the buck, the one antlered buck that I saw earlier this year. He's dead now. He's been torn apart by coyotes, vultures, so many things. And if you notice, the head's not here. That's because I decided to take the head and make a European mount because he only had one antler. So hopefully that'll look really cool. We're trying the bury method out to try and like give back to the land and stuff so that he naturally decomposes. So his head will become food for tons of different cool creatures. And yeah, we'll do an update on the European mount in spring. Let's keep going. All right, so right now we're heading deeper into the woods, following this deer herd. Yeah, I love 
tracking deer, especially in this environment, because here it's a somewhat suburban woodland environment. So the deer actually let you get pretty close, a lot closer than they would in more wild areas. And there's some really nice deer here too, like really good looking bucks, some pretty big ones. Around here is where I got a video of a really nice looking eight pointer swimming across the water. It's really beautiful. All right, so I'm just gonna check the water's edge for ducks because there's a lot of different species of waterfowl right now here. And that's another thing I really like to do. Now, uh, waterfowl hunting, it's a lot more complicated because they're, the ducks are a lot more cautious than the deer, at least in this area. But there's some beautiful species, buckleheads, wood ducks. Uh, if I don't see any today, hopefully in a later video, we'll go out looking for some. So, got no waterfowl here, so I'm gonna move on and follow the deer. guys so that was the video i hope you enjoyed originally we were going to post a buck hunting video because last week in new jersey it was um i forgot what it's called but we were able to shoot two bucks but we never found anything so i decided instead to film this little thing of searching for some white-tailed deer so i hope you enjoyed that uh, if you want to see more videos of looking for animals some photography stuff uh, let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe a uh, new hunting video should come out soon if we can find any deer. And hopefully we'll try and do some more fishing, some new trout stuff. But yeah, this is a newer type of video showing um, photography, which in my opinion, wildlife photography is very similar to hunting. There are a few differences. But yeah, if you enjoyed these videos, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.